And on the reverse, how many of you think it would be more pleasurable or good for bring more happiness for a Christian not to be in the military? Ten? Nine? Eight? Seven? Six? Five? Four? Three? Okay. Not quite a warmonger crowd, but you're certainly not pacifist either. <laughs> how long will the pleasure of a Christian being in the military last? What's the duration of that pleasure? At least, what's it, six years now? Is that what you signed up for? I thought it used to be two. Four? I think it's four. Is it four now? Okay, it's four years. So you're gonna, if it's a pleasurable experience, you get to have it at least for four years, unless something bad happens, of course. Like you get wounded, or but even that may bring pleasure. I mean, it could be more intense pleasure that you really gave to your country. Okay, so once again, uh, as far as duration, most people, what did you retire at 20 years in the military? That's like a third of your life. That's pretty high. So longevity, I mean, most people don't die in the military, right? It's compared to how many people are in the military and how many people actually die. It's a very small percentage. Don't we have like hundreds of thousands of people in the military? Right, and what, 6,000 people died in the Iraq war, 10-year war? I mean, and I'm not trying to diminish the loss of those lives. But that's a very small percentage of our overall military over a 10-year period. I mean, not if they're your loved one, obviously, it's not a small percentage, but just if you're talking statistics or numbers. And that's how utilitarian works a lot, is just kind of looking at the stats, looking at the facts, looking at the long-range benefits. And in that sense, I mean, I would say it's probably pretty high. The for your duration of what you could do with a career and what you're doing for your country. So let me run the numbers again. Actually, these I think we could just probably put in there, it's kind of like a, a third of your life, basically, your life expectancy, a third to a four. So, you know, what would we put that like? Maybe a, a four, a three or four? Let's do the 3.5. The con of not, of the duration of not being in the military, well, that could be like your whole life, right? Because if you're not in the military, it's not a part of your life. It's your whole life not being in the military. And so that, I think we would have to put that a lot higher. I won't give it a 10, but let me just run that out. Okay, how certain is your pleasure of being in the military on a scale of 1 to 10? Are you pretty certain it's going to be a positive experience? 10? 9? 8? Seven, six, five, four, three. Okay, that's interesting. And how many people are pretty certain that they'll find pleasure not being in the military? Ten, <laughs> nine, eight. Okay, that's pretty high. Center. How near is it? Well, you're all at drafting age, so I think you being in the military is about as near as it could get. It's not like you're seven years old or in your 40s, so it's pretty near. How near are you to not being in the military? Well, if you're, unless you're enlisted, you're not in it. How many more like pleasures will come out of it? Like maybe after you've been in the military, you could get hired for like some security company, Blackwater, uh, maybe do some mercenary work. Um, you you go right up with civil service jobs, like if you wanted to be like a ranger or law enforcement or fire department, things like that. So Military discount. Yeah, so this could be a lifetime of pleasure for you personally and career opportunities. You could get training, working electronics, repairing planes. I mean, there's a lots of things. Maybe they'll get you a college education and pay for it. There's a lot of benefits that could come out of that. So pretty high. And how many more pleasures do you get from not being in the military? I mean, I guess it kind of depends how much you like your civilian life as it is now. So what's your pleasure of your civilian life? And what is it doing for you? Or are you just not doing nothing? Are you stuck in some like little podunk town and you have no opportunities? Or are you living in some big city and you love your life? 
you have lots of friends, lots of activities. So it's probably a lot going to depend on where you are and how happy you are. So let me gauge. How many of you think what you're doing right now is going to provide a lot more like pleasures or opportunities? Ten? Nine? Eight? Seven? Six? Five? Four? Three? Okay. Let's do a reverse this time. How free from pain is not being in the military? <laughs> Unless your country's like taken over from some other group and they make you do things you don't like or eat food that you're not used to or speak some strange foreign language. I mean, how, how much, play, I guess it's kind of like this sort of, same sort of thing. How free from pain are you? being not in the military. Ten? Free from pain, not being in the military, just as you are. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Okay. How free from pain is being in the military? Right, four. And I guess you have to take into a lot of things into consideration. There's going to be the pain of boot camp. There's going to be the pain of people telling you what to do. There's going to be a pain of loss of personal freedom in a lot of ways of, of movement, of opinion, um, maybe of location of where you're going to be living or what you're going to be doing. There could also be the pain, certainly, of physical injury or maybe seeing someone you're close to die. Also, there could be the pain of inflicting pain on others and how that may affect you. Um, the pain of coming back to your family and friends and them not understanding what you've been through. So there's probably, in this sense, a lot of pain associated with being in the military. At least it's not, I wouldn't say, relatively free from pain. So you want to give it a 10 as completely free from pain? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5... Four, three, two, one. And how many more people will benefit from Christians being in the military? Well, the rest of the country. <laughs> Maybe the rest of the world, because we're like God's policemen, <laughs> taking care of the bad people, making sure they do right. Ten, nine, twelve, <laughs> Seven. Onward, Christian soul. That was huge. I'm just going to have a 10 there. And the extent people will benefit by you not being in the military, I guess your mama won't worry as much. Which is nice. And maybe your siblings and your friends. Um, so, people who, who would benefit from you not being in the military or find pleasure by you not being in the military. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Okay. So someone will add up the cons, I'll do the pros. What do you got? 52. 52? Mm -hmm. Really? I don't believe so according to this theory, it would be best, just a little bit better, but better not to join the military, at least as a consensus. That kind of surprised me. I, I didn't sway that, did I? Did, did, was I too involved in talking? Do I need to just do the numbers next time? Okay. I didn't mean to sway your vote or your opinion. Yeah. Let's, let's try one a little more interesting. Anyone engaged? Awesome. Will you play with us? <laughs> oh, yes. All right. <laughs> Actually, I believe John Stuart Mill used this to decide, to decide whether or not to get married, which is wonderful. Okay, so marriage. 